Welcome to part two of the Economy Discord bot from scratch series. Now remember we're doing this all with Discord slash command. So if that's what you're looking for, this is the tutorial series for you. From the last video, we were able to get VS Code downloaded along with Node. We also were able to download the discord.js dependency and ESLint in that. By the way, guys, if you didn't know, this was used to basically structure your code a little bit better. So in this video, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna register our bot and actually hopefully get it into a Discord channel of our own. So to get started, guys, all you gotta do is go to your favorite web browser and go and search up Discord Developer Portal. So Discord Developer Portal, and there we go. The first link that pops up, you're gonna wanna click at the top applications. All right, this is where we're gonna start. So you are going to have to be logged into this. So it's probably going to ask you to log in. Please log in. Go to Discord Developer Portal. Click Applications. We're going to start by clicking the New Application button. So now it's asking us if we're a game dev, which we are not, but we are Discord bot developers. All right, guys, we all are Discord bot developers. So let's create a name for our Discord bot. So you guys can get creative here. You can call it whatever you want. Um, I think we're the name we're going to go with for this bot, for this bot is just called it Test Bot. Um, but again, you can call it whatever you want. You can call it um, Dinobot. Um, actually, you know, you know, just because I said that, we're going to call it Dinobot. All right, you, you guys can steal this name if you want. We're going to call it Dinobot. Um, and then we're going to click Create. All right, so then it's going to bring us here, and it says, what, what should we call your creation, blah, 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 blah. So we have the name Dinobot. You can send an image for it. So this will basically be the profile picture for your bot. You can set a description. So this is gonna be the about me section on your bot. And um, you can use tags, I guess. Never used those before. Now that you have your application created, you're actually gonna to wanna to make it a bot. So let's go over to this bot tab and let's click add bot. So it's going to say add bot to this app. Yes, we do want to do that. All right, now our bot has officially be become a bot. You know, now our dino bot is alive. But how do we know it's alive if we can't see it? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to bring it into Discord itself. So here is the Discord and we're actually going to need a channel. So if you, you probably already have your Discord, but we're just going to create our own. We're just going to call this a uh, test server. Dino bot test server. So here is our server. We're going to create it. And there we go. We got a server. So that we're going to get our bot into the server right now. As you can see, you only see us in the server, but we want our bot. So let's not be lonely anymore. And let's add our bot to the server. So here we go. We're going to open up the portal again. You'll see that it says token. Now this token is very important and this has to be secure. So we're gonna wanna keep this token. So what you can do is you can click reset token. Yes, do it. And then you're gonna wanna copy this token. So it's this big long string and you're gonna see mine, but make sure guys, remember this is very important. Make sure that your token is not known by literally anyone else but you, if this ever becomes public, they will, anyone can get access to your bot. And if your bot has a lot of powers, you know, that might be very problematic for your server. So definitely make sure this is secure. How are we going to make sure this is secure? Because we're going to add it to the code, but you know, we want to make sure that no one can get access to it. So let's go to VS code and let's actually go down here and let's NPM one more thing. And we're going to do NPM install dot ENV. All right. So what this is going to allow us to do is get environmental variables, which are basically variables that are tucked away in a secret place in your computer so that they're not really in the code itself and you can reference them as variables. So what we're going to do is click new file on the left side. And you're going to type dot env. So let's create the dot env file. So now with this file, you can create variables. So what we're going to do is called discord underscore token it's it's usually customary to do it with all caps um, technically you don't have to but usually when a variable is all caps you know that it's coming from the emv and then you can paste in your um, discord bot token so here is your token and it's securely saved here you don't need quotation marks around it actually if you do that will mess it up just naked like this type it exactly the way i typed it paste in your code so this should be your entire code with the reference name discord token so that is now your variable Control s to save this file and then we got it in the env all right, guys, now that you're back in the Discord developer portal, you're going to want to give your bot certain privileges. So for this 
tutorial, I would say just check all these on and then click save. So basically, this is just giving your bot um, access to message content and um, listeners of the members in your guild, which is your server. So just do add all these things um it's it may or may not come up depending on what you want your bot to do once you guys turn these things on you can go to oauth2 and click url generator so this is where we're actually going to get the invite link for our bot to come into our server so all you got to do is select the word bot and let's also select applications dot commands where is it right here so you're going to want to want these two bot and applications commands then you're going to come down and it's going to allow you to pick what bot permissions you want your bot to have now if you have a very specific need for your bot you can maybe if you only want to send messages um, you can select that or maybe if you wanted to be able to mention everybody you can select as many as you want but for the purpose of this video and maybe most of you will want to pick this is i'm going to pick administrator which basically gives our bot access to do literally everything now knowing that you made it administrator remember when i said you wanted to keep your bot token secure if anyone ever gets access to that bot token then that means they have access to an administrator role on your server so that's why it's very important to keep your token secure once you click that it's going to generate a link down here for you you can just click copy and you can actually just go in and paste that into your your browser and it will say an external application dinobot wants to access your discord account and it should say your Discord account if you're logged into the correct one, and then you can add it to one of your servers. Now we just created the Dinobot test server, so we can just click Dinobot test server and we can click continue. It's gonna confirm the permissions that you have given it. In this case, we gave it administrator permissions, but if you gave it something else, it will list them all here and you can click authorize. You're gonna to have to verify that you're a human, pretty easy. We're a human adding a bot. Very nice, very nice. And let's close that out and let's head to Discord. And if we did everything right, you should see right here, Dinobot just showed up. That's right, guys. Dinobot is now in our server. Dinobot breathes. Dinobot is a living thing. Okay, maybe maybe it's not a living thing, but at least it's a bot, right? It has a little bot tag here. Pretty, pretty, pretty professional. All right, guys, I think this is a good time to stop this episode. We got the Dinobot in here. I would call this episode a success. Now in the next episode, which again, should already be uploaded in the next episode, we will be able to actually start coding. That's where the fun begins, guys, because once we can start coding, we can actually manipulate the Discord bot to do whatever we want. And really, with when it comes to Discord bots, your imagination is the limit. If you want something to happen, it can happen. Um, so just, just, I would say be optimistic about this we can make whatever features you guys want and again if you guys have suggestions for features make sure to put them in the comments below because if you maybe maybe in the comments you'll say a suggestion that i'm like wow that actually is a good suggestion that we i need to figure out how to code i can figure out how to code make a video and then we can all learn together um, so let's do this thing guys on to the next video